Okay, so in the previous video, in this 10.9, 10.9, we were looking at work as a wor work as a product of two vectors, and what we saw was that work is then equal to the force vector dot the displacement vector, and we saw that this was equal to the magnitude of f. Uh, times the magnitude of your, maybe this should be a delta r, let me make that a delta r for now, then the magnitude of your displacement times the cos of the angle between them. So we saw that if gravity, the force of gravity was acting down and our displacement was there, then our work due to that force would equal the force times the displacement cos theta or the force cos theta times the displacement and this is known as your dot product so basically the dot product is if we've got two vectors a and b so a dot b is the magnitude of a the magnitude of b times the cos of the angle between them so what it, what it is, if you're dotting two vectors, we're saying this vector times the component of this vector in the same direction. Okay? Or this the magnitude of this vector times the component of this vector in that direction. That's what we're saying. So here's an example of the dot product. So my question is, where do we use it? We use it to calculate work. But here is a... Here's just an exercise on the dot product, which I feel is quite helpful. So consider these two vectors. Remember they're in rectangular coordinates or Cartesian coordinates. And uh, find A dot B. Okay, so how are we going to find A dot B? We've got it in this form and in this form. And this is our equation. A dot B is the magnitude of A, magnitude of B, cos theta. But we don't have any angle between them. So what do we do? Well, we just carry out actually normal multiplication. Let's just look at this left left hand side. Um, so what is A? A is 2i minus 3j. We have dot B is minus i plus 2 J. We're just going to look at the left side now. We're just looking at this left side. Because we don't have the angle, so we can't work at the right hand side yet. So let's just multiply this out. But we'll see, we have to know how to deal with multiplying these unit vectors. So let's just use the, the normal distributive uh, law. Is that what it's called? This times that, plus that times that, plus that times that, plus that times that. So what is 2i? times minus i. So let's write it out. 2i dot, let's rather use the proper term, dot minus i. Okay? Plus 2i dot 2j. Okay, plus minus 3j dot minus i. Okay, let's just erase some of this. And then finally, plus minus 3j dot uh, dot 2j. Okay, so that's that's the basic idea. So now what is, so 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, but what is i dot i? What's i dot i? Remember that i dot i is 1, and i dot j is 0. Okay, I know this is taking a long time, but remember that i dot i dot j is the magnitude of i 
times the magnitude of j times the cos of the angle. What is the cos? What is the cos of? What is the angle? It's 90. So this is 1 times 1 times cos 90, which is 0. So if you've got a i unit vector and a j unit vector, and they're perpendicular, then the dot product is 0. Whereas if you've got i and i, they're both in the same direction, the dot product is 1. And we know that any perpendicular vector, if you've got a force and there's your displacement, and you do a f dot x, del delta x, you're going to get a 0. This force, this perpendicular force does no work because the angle between them is 90 degrees. Okay, so i dot i is 1, so we're just going to have a 1 there. What about this, this guy here? We're going to have 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. But what is i dot j? It is equal to 1 times 1 times cos of 90, which is 0. So we're going to have a 0 there. Let's just do this. Now what about this guy? Minus 3 times minus 1 is plus 3. But what is j dot i? Again, they're perpendicular. It's going to give us a 0. And what do we have here? We've got minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. j dot j. j dot j is also 1 because these are two vectors in the same direction. So we're going to have 1 there. And the answer here is minus 8. So, so what is A dot B of these two? It's minus 8. They, they, they don't give us any units. But say now this was your uh, force. And say now this was your displacement. Or your delta R. Then this would be in joules, for example. Okay? So now find the angle between the two vectors. This is also a very nice problem. What is the angle between the two vectors? So now let's come back to this guy. We've now got the left-hand side. It's minus 8. Now we need to calculate the magnitude of A and the magnitude of B. And then we've, we can calculate cos theta. So mm, we've got, let me just write it again over here. A is 2i minus 3j. And B is minus I plus 2J. Whoops. Okay, so what is the magnitude of A? It's going to be the X component squared plus the Y component squared square root. And if you do this, you get 2 squared plus minus 3 squared, we calculate the square root there, we get 3.6. Similarly for b, we're going to get minus 1 squared plus 2 squared square root. So b is going to be 2.24. Okay, so you just take Minus 1 squared plus 2 squared, and you get the square root. So now we've got this. We've got minus 8 on the left. We've got 3.6 times 2.24 cos of theta. That theta will be approximately 1.172 degrees. 172 degrees, okay? So this was A dot B on the left is equal to the magnitude of A, magnitude of B, cos of the angle between them. Okay, I hope that helps.